may have just finished breakfast, but it's okay. Our next guest says it's never too early to start thinking about beer. Right? Absolutely. The American craft beer. Like, <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> the American craft beer cookbook is a collection of recipes from some of the best brew pubs and breweries in the country. And some of them, of course, are right here in Wisconsin. John Hall is the author. He's also the editor of All About Beer magazine. And I wish I could have helped you with some of your research yeah. for this book. I hear that a lot. I it's, bet. Uh, I have a pretty cool job, but it's not available at the moment. Moment. So uh, please tell me you like beer. <laughs> I do like I do like like beer. Uh, okay. I feel like I'm going to get tripped up now this morning <laughs> yeah. with all of the words that I can't say. Right, all those but, phrases, um, those annoying <laughs> phrases. Right. Well, you said it's early. Uh, Sinatra used to say you can't drink all day unless you start in the morning. <laughs> so uh, I have two beers here for you if, uh, okay. if you want to get started with that. Okay. Uh, but the book is a collection, as you said, of uh, recipes from around the country, and it's everything from breakfast to dessert. Um, okay. So we're going to just start off with, you know, what beer are we for sampling breakfast. here? Uh, you have the lager from uh, the special Vienna lager from Sprecher, and you're drinking the Kellerweiss Hefeweizen, which has a little bit of banana and clove in it it's from Sierra good. Nevada. Banana, you know you've been drinking wine food. too long, though, when you smell your beer first. I did the same thing. I went, is it? Okay. It I did the same is. thing. It's not snooty to smell your no, beer. No, <laughs> in fact, when you're trying to pair beer with food, which is what the book is all about, I want people to smell beer. I want you to find uh, ingredients and particular um, nuances in a beer that you can find that match food. Beer has a lot in common with food. So uh, when you think about the, the, the ingredients that are in there, there's everything, uh, depending on, on the ingredients, from citrus to chocolate to... Uh, fresh grass to uh, stone fruit. It all depends on what type of ingredients is used and how it's used uh, in the particular beer. So mm. um, I brought a couple of dishes with yeah, me. Yeah, let's talk about it because is it that you cook with beer in the recipes or is it more that you like to pair foods with beer? Uh, well, seriously, I like to both. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's about pairing with uh, good beer with good food, but there are some recipes like the meatballs uh, that use uh, beer as an ingredient in there. But if you're going to cook with beer, I want to cook with a lot of beer. Cooking with just a little bit for the sake of saying you're cooking with beer, I, I don't see the it's point in doing dumb. that. Those right. meatballs mm -hmm. look like they've been cooked with Guinness. Are uh, these they the haven't Sprecher actually. Ones? These are the Sprecher meatballs. Uh, so I use the Sprecher Doppelbach uh, and their own house barbecue sauce that also has some of their house root beer in there as well. Very savory, very flavorful. There's also some brown sugar Yum. and some other good stuff in there. These are great for game day. Put them in the crock pot. You, you start it in the morning. By the time the 3 o'clock game, rolls around you can just start popping them back so uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of that and what was on the first one oh, over sure. there so Those this look is healthy. A, they are actually a little bit it's uh, watermelon and tomato with um, basil oh, blue cheese watermelon. and served in oh. an end I gotta leaves. try oh, that I've never seen anything like that oops oh, here we go dive right in so okay. say it one more time watermelon tomato watermelon tomato uh, basil blue cheese a little bit of sea salt and it's served in an endive leaf can I mm. taste that Mm -hmm. What is endive? Uh, endive is just a Belgian sort of style leaf vegetable. Uh, you as taste it, is it here. too. So yeah, let's. Uh, I'm gonna taste it. I love it. It's so fresh with the watermelon and the tomato. It's got a little bit of savory with the blue cheese and, and the salt. And it's got some nice crunch to it as well. Yeah, it's delicious. Mm. I love so. that. Now, what kind of beer would you pair that with? You know, you could do any number of things. There's, uh, You could do like a sour ale, uh, which doesn't sound quite as bad as that, but has a little bit of tartness mm -hmm. to it that will bring out some of the uh, the earthy and sweet flavors in the beer. You could also just do something as simple as a, uh, a Kolsch or a Gold Nail as well. Okay. you got to really like blue cheese to like that. You do. Yeah. But, I think uh, I you can, use it, you can use it sparingly, you know, or you can put more on if, uh, if you like it. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we've got the apps here, which yes. I love with the meatballs. We've got yeah. a little bit of salad going right, on, as we promised. Right. And we got the dessert over yes. there. Yes, so these are cupcakes that are actually, again, using beer in the ingredient. Uh, it's, uh, can I taste that beer? Think, absolutely. So that is beer that? is brewed. It's a, yeah, it's a porter, <laughs> so a darker style <laughs> beer. It's so dark. And mm -hmm. it's brewed with vanilla bean and coffee in it oh. as well. So again, so it's like for perfect breakfast. for breakfast. Absolutely, that's why I brought it I like it on. that. Mm. And, uh, I prefer this girl for breakfast. Right, isn't that isn't that pretty nice? You could also mix that with a little oh. bit of orange juice and have a beer mosa in the morning as well. That's ridiculous. Beer yummy. mosa. Isn't that Did fun? you hear that? No. What do you put in a beer mosa? Just uh, orange just juice. Orange juice uh, a, a, a hefeweizen or a white ale. Uh, I also sometimes put like a little shot of triple sec in it if it was a particularly rough night or you're looking is forward to a good day. This is such a great beer for breakfast. Right. <laughs> I'm glad you like that. That's why I brought it. You know, and you can pair it well with the cupcakes. And again, we have all sorts of recipes in the book. What kind um, of cupcakes are those? Those are, uh, they have a little bit of mint in them, but they're made with um, uh, a stout. So they're stout mm -hmm. cupcakes. And again, a little bit dark, um, really flavorful, really good. And uh, I think you'll, you'll enjoy them. 
All they right. look fantastic. You got over 155 recipes collected from breweries and brew pubs across America, including several from right here in Wisconsin. Yes. Yeah, we and didn't even mention like Hinterland Brewery yeah. and Restaurant, there, Lakefront, Lakefront Brewery, Sprecher, as you said. Sprecher. <laughs> yes, oh, and yeah. today you're doing a book signing. It's at Lakefront Brewery from 1 to 4, so that's how you can meet John Hall, get a copy of his book as well. And then tomorrow he's going to be, uh, sorry, Sunday, he's going to be at Sprecher on uh, Sprecher Brewery. Yes. And that's from 1230 until 3, and it will end before the game. Yes, that's important. So you don't have to worry about <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, no, I would never, ever interfere with a lot of beer to bring to the game. Absolutely. For yeah. sure. Or cheers, next party. John. Yeah, yeah cheers. I Thanks love so that. Much. This is Thank my you. favorite way to start the show, <laughs> as promised, Same delivered. Here. I love Ooh. it. Thank you so much. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's good stuff, people.